Can stem cell therapy, the medicine therapy, prevent or fix type 2 or type 1 diabetes? Now, type 1 diabetes is a group of diseases where the body cannot produce or use insulin. In type 2, it is more of an insulin resistance and ineffective use of insulin. Sadly, there is no known cure yet for both conditions, and it is the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S. According to American Diabetes Association, 23 million people in the U.S., maybe close to 30 now, but shockingly, at least one-fourth of them are not even aware of the condition. Now, we have different types of diabetes, but most commonly known ones are type 1, type 2, gestational, and some patients have type 1.5 or LADA. Now, stabilizing insulin levels is crucial for managing diabetes, right? If you're insulin resistant or insulin deficient in both ways. The most common treatment involves, you know, if you're type 1 diabetic, insulin injections, pumps, insulin pumps, or frequent blood sugar testing, continuous glucose monitoring, you name it. Now, researchers, though, are exploring this stem cell therapy as a potential solution so you don't have to worry about it anymore, with some promising results in certain cases. Now, the researchers are looking into using stem cells to create insulin-producing islets in the pancreas for treating type 1 diabetes. There have been cases where patients didn't need insulin injections for years. Now, some clinical trials are even using cord blood stem cells specifically for diabetes treatment. For example, in a study from 2017, researchers analyzed 13 studies from between 2006 to 2016 involving 342 patients who received stem cells similar to cord blood and another 111 who received stem cells similar to cord tissue for diabetes management or diabetes treatment. Although not everyone responded to the treatment, there were some improved glucose control and reduced insulin dependence for up to four years. However, there are still some unanswered questions about the ideal candidates, administration method, the optimal dose, and the need for multiple transfusions. Now, there are some other things we're going to talk about today, not just a stem cell. There are some other promising studies that just recently came in, so don't go anywhere yet, so watch it until the end. A Brazilian clinical trial with 21 adults with type 1 diabetes showed that a stem cell infusion could treat the disease for several years. Now, most patients in that study were insulin-free for three and a half years, and one patient didn't use insulin for eight years. However, not all patients had the same positive results with the stem cell transplant, unfortunately. Now, researchers at the University of Florida, right here where I am, they have discovered a method to expand preserved cord blood cells that could serve as a long-term treatment for type 1 diabetes. Now, these cells, known as thymic regulatory T cells, or Tregs we call them, are a type of white blood cells that prevents autoimmune responses. Remember, type 1 disease, type 1 diabetes is a result of autoimmune attack to your pancreas. But by using these microbeads to activate and stimulate growth, scientists were able to culture a large number of Treg cells from umbilical cord Tregs. This breakthrough could lead to replenishing these low T cells, the Treg counts, replacing ineffective Tregs with new and improved ones to prevent autoimmune attacks. Additionally, this study brings us closer to utilizing the cryopreserved cord blood for various treatment possibilities, not just type 1. Now, another promising approach is the stem cell educator therapy, which uses cord blood stem cells to re-educate the immune system and suppress the autoimmune responses. The stem cell educator device separates and co-cultures a patient's mononuclear cells, cells with one nucleus, with cord blood stem cells before returning the re-educated cells back to the patient's circulation. So unlike other stem cell therapies, the stem cell educator 
does not introduce new stem cells into the patients. Instead, it educates them. Moreover, it eliminates the need for like the matching and all that relatively you know, short treatment time. Moreover, it eliminates the need for that matching and has a relatively short treatment time around 8 to 10 hours. So there are several ongoing trials are worth noting. For example, an Australian study is investigating whether reinfusing a child's own cord blood can prevent type 1 diabetes in those at high risk. While the Institute of Metabolism of Endocrinology in China, they are conducting studies on T-Reg cells from the cord blood for diabetes. In China, they're also conducting a trial on the stem cell educator. But here in-house in the U.S., there is a new study that came up recently, Verapamil, which is a generic medication for blood pressure. Interestingly, Verapamil, once daily, within 30 days after diagnosing type 1 diabetes, slowed the beta cell decline over 52 weeks in children and adolescents aged 7 to 17. Now, type 1 diabetes usually sees a small improvement in C-peptide secretion after diagnosis and insulin treatment, but typically it declines later due to autoimmune beta cell destruction. But both groups in that study showed an initial improvement in C-peptide secretion, but the verapamil group had a longer period of stability before it started declining again. Now, given this favorable safety profile, oral administration, and low cost, compared to those fancy immunosuppressive agents or stem cell therapies, initiating verapamil therapy should be considered for newly diagnosed type 1 diabetic patients if clinically okay. Guess what? FDA also just approved a medication called t -Zield. It's a pretty super cool injection. It's not cheap, but that can also delay the onset of stage 3 type 1 diabetes in adults and kids who already have stage 2 diabetes. Stage 3 type 1 diabetes means that you're already having high blood sugars because there are stages of type 1 diabetes as well. This new therapy gives at-risk patients another option. t -Zield can actually help those patients buy some extra time without having to deal with type 1 diabetes at an early age. Now, type 1 diabetes, as you know, is caused by autoimmune system destruction, being a little too aggressive and attacking the cells that produce the insulin. But people with this condition, you know, always need regular shots, especially if they are younger. It is very hard to manage. Imagine sticking a needle to a one-year-old. It is difficult and heartbreaking. Type 1 diabetes can show up at any age. I've seen type 1 diabetic at age 80, but it usually affects kids and young adults. But having a family member with type 1 diabetes can put you at risk as well. So not every one with type 1 diabetes has a family history, but if you have it in your family, there is a slightly increased risk. Now, this t zealed medication is a genius because it binds to certain immune cells and slows down the progression to stage 3 type 1 diabetes. It can calm down the immune cells that are attacking the insulin-producing beta cells and increase the good guys that keep things in check. Now, the downside t zealed is given by IV infusion once a day for 14 days straight. It's kind of a cool, but it's a bummer at the same time. After all the leaps and bounds in medical science, all the heroic ventures into this microscopic universe of cells, and all these laboratories across the globe, guess what? We still don't have a definitive cure for diabetes, especially for type 1 and definitely not for type 2. It's like that super stopborn stain on your favorite shirt that just won't budge, no matter how much you scrub. But don't worry, we're on it. We'll keep our eyes peeled and we'll be the first to spill the beans when that elusive cure decides to finally make an appearance. Until then, Keep those healthy foods, supplements, 
and if necessary medications on board to make sure you're staying in tip-top health. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.